Hey guys, my name is Mark, and yes, I made a new lens. Sort of. And to do it, all I had to do was take an old lens off life support. I think it was worth it though, I learned something new and uh, found a new lens to experiment with. This is what remains of my old Nikkor AF-S 18 to 70 millimeter zoom lens. This was the kit lens that came with my first ever digital camera, the Nikon D70, the Nikon D70, or the Nikon D70. I actually looked it up and depending on where you live in the world, there is no wrong way to say it. It's all about how you pronounce these certain letters. Nikon, Nikon, or Nikon. Now I actually used that old D70 body and traded it in for my Sony A7S II back in March 2016. Part of Sony is trade in any DSLR and get $300 off a new Sony camera. Now that camera was long gone anyway, so it was nice to have been able to knock off a few bucks for this camera at the time. But this lens wasn't part of the trade, and it was already broken. Zoom function didn't work, so for the last 10 years it's been uh, sitting in a closet. So about this little lens here. I'm not sure if it was boredom or curiosity. Probably a bit of both. But it was a rainy day, and I suddenly felt the urge to take this lens apart just to see what was inside. So I took it apart, piece by piece. Now I've studied a lot of lens diagrams in my day, but I've never really seen what the inside of a lens looks like firsthand. So doing this was a great opportunity to explore that actuality. And coming across the various lens elements kind of gave me an idea. Maybe they could be used in interesting ways with my iPhone. Now I tested a few of them that didn't work out so well. But this one, I thought was pretty cool. When I started this, I had no idea the death of this lens would lead to the birth of a new one. Granted, it's not nearly as versatile, but what it lacks in versatility, it certainly makes up for in character. It's like a funky macro lens. The next step is to develop that character and explore its range. I'm aware there's a whole market and brands out there developing lenses for mobile phones, but this is the first time I've actually ever been truly inspired by it. This is the best part about finding inspiration. Something piques your interest and the more you explore it, the deeper you find yourself going. Following that path is exactly what got me into shooting with vintage lenses, and I'll say, a lot has changed since scratching that itch. So using my iPhone, the images this lens renders are pretty cool, and exploring what works and what doesn't is loads of fun. Since modern camera phones are quite sharp, and this is a certified Nikkor lens element, the image quality is pretty great. The only downside is it only really works when you get close in. The effective range of the lens does work well for video though, when you can incorporate that out of focus look into a camera move. Now, I used this setup a few times in my 135mm lens review that I thought looked pretty cool. This was all an interesting creative result that I'll admit was very circumstantial. There's no way I would recommend sacrificing a lens for the sake of curiosity as a rule. But in this case, I think it worked out pretty well. Now I'm gonna continue playing around with this look, just being able to take a moment of boredom and turn it into something that is both incredibly satisfying as well as informative is always a good use of time. What do you guys think? Do you dig the look of this lens? 
it's kind of opened my eyes to the possibility of using my camera phone more for creative photography and videography. I'm definitely guilty of not taking full advantage of what these camera phones can do. I think that's gonna change. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.